Okay, so this is one of the signs down here on the canal. Top of it says, caution, water is suitable for non-contact recreation only. Wash thoroughly after contact. Um, I don't know if there used to be more of them or not, but I do remember them from when I was a kid. So there's at least this one left. And you see it's back here, it's pretty overgrown now. And uh, you know, people have asked why it's why it's so polluted. I'm not really sure if it's any reason other than you know that people used to dump things anywhere and also there's a uh, a landfill it's actually you know right down this bank there's another you know a little hill up and then it's the canal and on the other bank is the is the landfill and we'll go over there in a second and I'll show it to you <coughs> okay so we're uh we're at a different part of the park we were down that trail through the woods a little ways you know 200 yards maybe you go up a hill and that's where the sign was right here this is the bridge um, you saw me catch a bass right down there in my finesse worm video this is the same part uh, same park we're probably two or three miles away from my house but uh, this is uh, this is the Erie Canal here and at the uh, the front end of the park there's a there's an information sign. I'm gonna try and get a shot, at least a, at least some pictures of it. I'm try and get some, get a lot of information on there for everybody that's not around here. One thing that's weird is, you know, this is it's all so common to us growing up around here. You know, it's it's mostly what you. Okay, so like I was saying, it's a. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that cut out on me. I don't know where. But, uh, you know, back front there's a, uh, a plaque or an information board that has all this stuff on it. And uh, it's kind of weird, though, because to us around here, it's just common knowledge. It's all, you know, all stuff that you learn during school, elementary school. A lot of the history is, you know, the Erie Canal and how it was built and why and everything like that. But, uh, what I wanted to show you here is all you know these big hills this was a landfill or you know still is but it's not active anymore and you can see I don't know if you can see there's the vent pipes all sticking out all over it that vent the gas out from there because uh, you know because the, the trash breaking down makes fumes <coughs> gotta excuse me a little bit of still got a bit of a scratchy throat for my allergies got bad last week or two there uh the dogwood really came out like you know like a week ago when i was kayaking and so i've been a little congested since then but uh either way this was an active landfill when i was a kid and it goes from it goes down there you know it goes way over to there it's probably you know it's probably about a, a three mile or so stretch of area that was all all the landfill and you know there's there's big parts of it here and then there's a, a wetland there that wasn't part of it and then on the other side of it there is again so that's uh you know that's part of why it's polluted back here i don't know if there was any specific instance of you know of things being dumped in here or anything or other than just that it was a you know people on the boats would have just been dumping things off of the boats and or barges rather and just you know just random where people always just dump things out in the water or out in the you know out in the ground near the water and so it got contaminated uh it's you know it's pretty healthy fishery now i don't remember how much it's changed since i was a kid the water is pretty clear for the most part uh depending on where you are this part is it's a little stained but we've also had a lot of rain the last couple of days so that's that's part of it too but i just wanted to show that off i'll get over to the information board now and okay so here's the big board um i'm going to take a couple pictures of it for people that want to read it i'll take a couple of pictures so you can just when the pictures come up just pause it because they're only going to be on here for a few seconds at a time but uh basically we are right in this general area you know this is a whole 
almost all of New York State map. It's basically the, it's the whole width, but uh, you know it goes up a little higher and a little lower. But that's where we are, right in the middle. For people that know the Big Ferg, he is in this general area. That's Buffalo, Albany, the state capital. New York City is down in that general region off the map. So this down here is a map of the Canal Park. It starts here. That's where we are right there. That's maybe a mile uh, to the west. Goes up here through let's see this this right here. That's where you see me fish a lot. That's back towards my house. Down the that's that would be the feeder going back towards my house. Uh, I've never really fished this stretch that much. Uh, the day I took pictures on my geocaching trip was between this point and this point. Just go through this really quick. Uh, down here in Chittenango, fished. Let's see, fished right in this area. That's where I caught the big pike last year. Goes out here, there's Canastota. It starts heading up north through some other small towns. And then it goes out this way and it ends up the end of the park is in Rome. And the whole the whole uh, the whole trail, like the canal's a lot longer, but the whole trail runs from here to Rome. Syracuse to Rome. It's 35 miles, 36 miles it says. So I'll take a picture of uh, all the writing and a couple of the maps and you can uh, stop and pause them.